Hello, thank you for subscribing to InfoWorlds Tech and welcome to my channel. This is a channel where we explore new trends in technology, including artificial intelligence, machine learning, computer programming languages like Python, JavaScript, and cloud technologies. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a log analytics workspace in Azure and then send logs from your on-prem computer into the cloud. So I'm going to start with uh, logging into my Azure uh, portal and then creating a log analytics workspace and then configuring my on-premises computer, which is my personal Windows machine, and then showing you how those logs will appear in Azure and how we can actually run Custo, which is um, uh, an Azure provided SQL type uh, query language to look at some examples of uh, looking at the logs and sorting them as per our requirements. So let's get started. So I'm going to head into, uh, let's have a quick definition or description about log analytics workspace because this is the key um, idea behind collecting logs in a centralized location. So a log analytics workspace is a unique environment for Azure monitored log data. Each workspace has its own data repository and configuration and data sources and solutions are configured to store their data in a particular workspace. You require a log analytics workspace if you int intend on collecting data from the following sources. Azure resources in your subscription, on-premises computers monitored by SCOM or System Center Operations Manager, Def device collections from Configuration Manager, diagnostics or log data from Azure Storage. So like I said earlier, uh, we're looking into the second type of uh, uh, an option where I will be configuring my Windows 10 machine to send logs into Azure. So let's see how we can get started. So I've already logged into my Azure works, uh, Azure login. Um, and as you can see, we can search for log analytics workspace from the home page. And I've already set up a log analytics workspace called test log analytics. So let's go over there. So these are the first steps. And then I'll show you uh, what is the second step to get your machine ready. Once you're in the test log analytics space, you can click on the agents management here in the left. And you can see that it's showing one Windows computer connected, which is my, uh, my personal machine. And you also have Linux, so it supports two types of um, servers that can uh, receive logs. And I have a follow-up video uh, where I will show how to set up and configure uh, a Linux machine to send data into uh, log analytics workspace set up in Azure. So let's go back to the windows. You can see uh, it shows it's one is connected. Now the key things that you need from here is a workspace ID. So we can either leave it uh, open like this and we can make a copy, maybe copy it over here but we will require this information while we're doing the installation of the MMA, which is the Windows Monitor Agent, and as well as the primary key. So usually you don't need to regenerate it, but if you want, you can regenerate it and use that, but ideally you, you can just use what's given here. So I'm just copying that. So that's the second. I'm just showing you that these are what is required, but you really don't need to copy and paste or save them anywhere because once we run the MMA agent, it will prompt you for these two values and you can just go here uh, in this um, uh, window and just copy them across. So that is all you need uh, to set up about the, uh, to set up the agent. Uh, what you need to do is download the agent. I've uh, selected 64 bit and I've already downloaded it and installed it. And you can see um, this is the, uh, the driver or agent uh, and I can also show you that it's installed here. So that's the third one here. This is the Microsoft Monitoring Agent, MMA. 
So make sure that you install it and during installation, it's a very simple installation. During installation, it will ask you for the workspace ID, which you can copy from the Azure workspace, as well as it will ask you for the primary key, which you can also copy here. Once those two values are provided to the agent, it just uh, installs, completes the configuration, and in effect, it'll start sending logs. So since I've already uh, performed that step, uh, I will go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, the logs. So I can go to logs directly from here. And when you come here, you can actually see that uh, it generates a standard uh, log that you can run so let, let's try and run that so it, it gives me some value but i just want to fully understand this and what it means so this is the heartbeat um, in in the logs this captured there so i if i just want to see how many heartbeats uh, have been captured since the last 24 hours so it seems to be quite a lot so let me just do it like a count and you can see it's very uh, intuitive it uh, prompts you for the next command so I just want to count how many heartbeats we have so there's a total of 78 and I installed it yesterday so over I haven't used it that much but over last one one day you can see I got uh, I received about 78 heartbeats now let's do one thing I just want to take a look at some uh, limited information so let's say I just want to look at the uh, last five so you can see that it just displayed the last five but maybe I want to see the last ten or just ten of these heartbeats so it just displays those ten so it's especially useful if uh, you have like hundreds of uh, these log entries and you just want to uh, look into just a subset of them and uh, we can also look at so you can see that there are about um, maybe 12 or so columns time generated source completed computer ip and so on uh, maybe i just want to see a subset of this information the number of columns so i can actually reduce that and, and the way to do that is uh, you know whatever log you're interested in which is heartbeat and i can then write project and i can then select from here and mind you this is case sensitive so make sure that it's the right selection and now when I enter a comma you can see it prompts me automatically for all the possible uh, columns that are here so let's say now the next I'm interested in is um, the OS name and perhaps the OS major version so I just I'm just limiting the information that I want to see and let's say when this log was generated and another thing that I want to see is let's say the computer environment and you can see there are tons of other things that you can select so once I, I selected these uh, columns that I want to see I rerun that and you can see that it's displayed maybe I just want to know the OS name and that didn't pop up but it tells me that it's Windows it's um, OS major version 10 and note here that it says non Azure which is correct because this is my on-prem machine and the time that was generated the name of the computer and so on so you can play around uh, with um, these queries and try to get what works best for you and um, there are many uh, good tutorials on Custo SQL if you're interested you can certainly head over to Microsoft and uh, learn that here I just wanted to show you the basics the the intent was to show you how log analytics are set up and how you can then configure a Linux or a Windows machine either on-prem or in Azure to send logs into log analytics workspace and then it's available for reporting or creating a dashboard and so on so thank you for uh, watching this i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i will follow up with another one to set up uh, on a linux machine and to be able to send logs into azure so thank you for watching